In OCHEM, we don't show the hydrogens on carbons, yet you're still expected to know they're there. Hey Cooper, show them some examples. After showing all of these structures, you may be wondering where your hydrogens are. This is another plus side of bond line notation. We can avoid the clutter of hydrogens because we can just assume they're there. Remember that neutral carbon loves having four bonds. To find our hydrogens, we have to see how many bonds carbon has. In this case, our carbon here has two bonds to other carbons, which means in order for carbon to have four bonds in total, there has to be two other hydrogens branching off. In terms of your end carbons, those will have three hydrogens branching off since our carbon is bonded to only one other carbon. Same thing applies with double bonds and triple bonds. Find your carbon, see how many bonds it already has, and if carbon needs an extra bond to make four total bonds, then add a hydrogen. Share this with someone who is taking organic chemistry this semester.